This is a late birthday present to my dear hater friend, Teal Swan, who's appropriated so much of my content. And by that I mean I've appropriated her content. I celebrated her birthday yesterday by sticking my head in the sand and screaming and daring myself not to inhale and also putting down a deposit for an Ivo retreat in Costa. So you'll be hearing lots about my personal evolution come September when I talk to my soul. No biggie. <laughs> okay, cuties. This Be Brava Live is entitled Streamline. Streamline for flow. So when we're building a business to scale, we know we need operations that what? Streamline. When we build a life to scale, to expand, to give more, to be more, to be more brava, my cuties, let us streamline. This means thinking one step ahead. This means visualizing the next clear action. It's like a CrossFit workout. You attack that shit by noticing the, this, the inter moments from the box to the bar to the row. How can we streamline that process? So we see next step ahead and we're there. It's just like if you've ever had to remember choreography, you know the next step. And there's a great feeling, my darlings, when you're in that flow. It's in fight mode, ultimate fighter mode. You come into the zone. You, you're not thinking of the drama in the house at that point and who left the kitchen light on. You're thinking, let me beat the shit out of my roommate. <clears throat> Please do watch Ultimate Fighter if you're not at 24 seasons. It's that streamline, it's that full focus. And here's the thing, my cuties, my dear friend, Edmund Rose, who got me into meditation, <clears throat> hottest meditation, meditation, <laughs> meditation teacher on the planet, I can't even talk about him without stuttering. He used to do these incredible retreats in Topanga. I called them Yoga the Bachelor. You'd just get a house full of girls who were in love with him, who were all trying to like, be good meditators don't cross him but booze if you're gonna get into meditation you need some carrot right cuties because it's boring as fuck so he posted a post apropos of this on insta the other day and it was entitled why we don't meditate the benefits are clear the science is behind it even when we do it we feel how beneficial it is and yeah and still we don't because it's motherfucking boring in our minds right cuties so we are actually moving out of the information age, hence the internet overwhelmed too much information, to the age of consciousness. We move fast, cuties, right? Because the information age feels like it was like yesterday. Like remember when Steve Jobs pulled out the big iMac with a, you could see inside and it was like blue and you're like, oh my God, I thought computers were things that were like lived in factories. Okay, cuties, and now I got one in my library in the school. And if we're lucky, we could sneak some hot Britney pics, cuties, right? So we moved out of the information age pretty damn fucking fast because we're like, fucking Christ, like this is driving us mad madness. Everybody's got their own conspirators. Everybody's got their own set of facts. And cuties, we've just realized if we step the fuck outside, which everyone's doing post 2020, this shit is magic. This shit is so beautiful. And yeah, it's so simple. And yeah, it's almost too simple for our little brains because we are addicted to what? Dopamine hits of new, new, new. Oh my God, I want more information. And so Eben was speaking to the fact that we don't meditate because we don't actually see the benefit truly. We actually find it very fucking boring. And there is a human fear of the void. We think the void is empty. The void is to be filled with whatever we want to fill it with, and yet, and still, my cuties, we avoid the void. We avoid simplicity. We make life far more complicated. We do not streamline. We do not sit in nature because we look at that gecko and we're like, bitch, I get it, okay? And now I have to be fucking quiet and in my natural state, and I'm not clever, and I'm not cute, and I don't have a tagline for this. We are addicted to being cute and clever, okay, cuties? And it's driving us fucking mad. So we're moving out of the age of information and we're moving into the age of consciousness. Oh, you've heard it, you know. The age of consciousness is simple. It's streamlined. It's sitting by a fucking stream, okay, cuties? Nature is not convoluted. Nature is single focus, single fucking focus. You look at a bird, that bird is a bird. They're not a bird who's trying to be a lizard. No, they're fucking being a bird. 
So be, be in natural state and trust that it's fucking enough. Okay, cuties? And you're speaking to a fucking character right now, okay? A personality. So if I can admit this is true, you can too. We avoid silence and we think, oh, like all these meditation apps that we purchase to silence our mind. Do we want to silence our mind though? Or do we feel like my little thoughts, even if they are driving me mad, are the only thing that makes my world make sense? And what if I didn't have this mental chatter? What then? What if I didn't have the drama? What then? What then? That is the question. What then? What's on the other side of all this noise? And so that is your T for today. Streamline. Start there. Start by being single focused on what you're focused on. Streamlining your flow for scale. Just like you would if it was your biz. See that next step. Get there. A to B. And let go of the need for everything to be so fucking interesting because really that's hiding from the feeling. And ultimately every addiction, be it addiction to internet, addiction to Talia. <laughs> what other addictions are there, kids? Whatever your addiction is, it is an avoidance of sensation, of feeling this moment. And so maybe that's what you're avoiding with all this fucking noise. So streamline, that's my tea for today. I have a beautiful, blessed, blessed days. And send me your PRs if you're doing CrossFit current. She's back in it. It's making her angry. Is that okay? Is it okay if your workout makes you extra angry? I don't know. I think some people do like boxing and stuff to like let out anger. I feel like it just sparks a fire in me. So if I do fiery things... Like deadlifts, watch out. I love having the thing that attracts attention also be my weapon of choice, my ass. Okay, cuties, so it's like, oh, you're looking at my ass? Yeah, this is the thing that could like kick you really hard. I, gotta, I don't know, I don't know how to fight, but we'll figure out how to make this, the, the strength I'm learning applicable because it's supposed to be functional fitness. So I better be able to beat up boys. I got my mace though. Okay, cuties, now she's just rambling. Go get, go get it. Go kill in the ring, proverbially, and save the planet. Oh, I love you so much. Hey,